nerd soul lay ill kid at one youngster holding it down bringing that street geek and nerd soul that's right nerd soul gaming we ain't gonna waste y'all time y'all seen the title y'all know what's going on and i ain't by myself nah nah i got two uh extremely distinguished gentlemen with me i'm gonna throw it off to uh tj storm first what's up first off thank you for having me again it's a pleasure to be on the show nerd soul and Thank you, FGC, for being competitive that y'all are. I love the competition that y'all been throwing out there, so keep it going. All right, see, nice and positive. That's what I'm talking about, nice and positive. That, see, that's how, that's how I like to start the show. I'm going to throw it over to the other young gentleman over here. Open Mind, what's up? Y'all know what it is. It's your boy, Open Mind, Uncle Open Mind. Happy to be here as always. Always respect, always love with Nerd So You bringing us on to talk about the... You know the, the the games and the FGC and all the shenanigans. So yeah, yeah. It's always love. I appreciate you, nerd, for, for for just considering us. You know, old men as we as we as we traverse through this FGC. You bring us all on the mic and shed our love. I thank you so much. Bro. God bless you. All right, well, why thank you? And uh, <laughs> let's go on and start with the love fest on a uh, Street Fighter Six. That's right. Street mm-hmm. Fighter 6 said, man, look, we know the game coming out in a second, but check it. Uh, we want to make sure that our stuff is extra smooth and crispy clean for y'all. So we're going to give y'all a little open beta. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's some people out there playing. They was getting that play on, boy. Now, uh, I will say I enjoyed many a stream. My favorite stream that I was enjoying over on the Twitch side was of course nightmare that's right x nightmare effect doing his thing but i did catch a couple of i saw shine doing his thing i saw um matter of fact i didn't catch snake eyes doing anything i'm pretty sure he played but i didn't catch snake eyes and i didn't catch um i didn't catch lotus asakura but i did see his youtube video of him playing which i'll bring up something about that later on but um, you know, I saw some, I saw some, you know, some fun, some fun games and fun matches. I'm gonna throw it to you guys. I'm gonna throw it uh, to Open Mind first. How how you feeling about the open beta? I, I, you know, you said some stuff offline about it, but how you feel about the open beta? Well, I'm gonna say this: I didn't get a chance to play the open beta because I don't have a PS5. I, I'm still on PS4. I'm still on uh, previous gen, but I haven't played the demo, so I I do know how the game feels. I ain't really got nothing negative to say. I just can't wait for the game to come out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will say this though. If, cause since I couldn't play the beta, I am like, like I've been looking out on the discourse and it's the mm-hmm. same, like it's the same, uh, same-ish different toilet right now. They complaining mm-hmm. about Kimberly. Apparently Kimberly is OP and crazy, but I'm thinking like, but that's every video, every fighting game is going to have a character that's just ridiculously hard to beat or even use. And that's mm-hmm. okay. That's not bad. That's okay. Don't nerf the character or buff whatever. Just play the, accept the game that they give us and let's all, you know what I'm saying, do our best. Even if the character is ridiculous. Like, that's, at least that's how I came up. We always tried to beat the character that was the hardest to beat. Because if you can meet that character consistently, then that's a real test of your skill. That's just my opinion. I'm going to pass the mic to, to TJ. Hey, I, you know what? I want to agree with you. And just a little bit of disagree where in current days, you want to balance out the game. But you're 100% correct. That was the challenge. The challenge was always to find your way to finesse that win. And that's the that's the challenge that a lot of people miss where there's always somebody that can counter or overpower that overpowering character where here it is. I could tell you from just say it from KOF to Street Fighter six worlds are different worlds apart extra buttons and what I do like about the beta and what they've done with the modern controls and classics. They gave it a little bit of you know balance where when you actually do the combo, you get more of a reward as opposed to just tapping a button. And in a sense, I kind of felt like King of Fighters gave that away where here it is. You can just do any super move that you want at whatever level that you save and you're going to automatically just change the gameplay. So, you know, with, with what's, what's the come 
and of course they're going to have many balances and patches along the way with new characters arriving and yeah, DLC true. content to come there's going to be a lot of changes but as of right now it's, nah, it can't leave it like it is and that's why you know Kimberly was on the match Kimberly was on the map not the match she was on the map I also what? I'm going to throw I'm going to throw this to uh, open mind real quick well I'm going to throw this to the whole panel I believe there's another reason that Kimberly is getting some hate. All right, okay, all right, nerd. <laughs> I think I know where you're going, but hold on, because I'm black, y'all, and I'm black and black. So before I answer, let me throw it right back at you, nerd. Why do you think Kimberly is getting the hate? Please say it. Please say it. I believe Kimberly is getting all of this hate the same reason that Leroy gets all of the hate. <laughs> Go because ahead. she's black. But your coochie if, head if this ass, was man. if if this was Ken, <laughs> if this was Ryu, if this was Sagat, we would not be hearing character. no crying on the yep. internet. People be like, "Oh man, Ken is so good now. Oh, he's so great. Oh man, he's so great." Or if, if this was Guile or anyone else, there's any I mean, if any other blonde character. Well, I guess Sagat is bald, so we don't know what his hair is like. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. We, you know, any of those characters. It would have been fine if it was cammy it would have been fine but it's kimberly they already don't like this a black character on this and you know what i mean by that the, 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 when when uh nightmare was on stream there was somebody in the in the battle hub just shell, uh yelling out slurs all through there and it was of course of course putting the words on the screen so that's in battle hub so those are the people I'm talking about. So if someone's like, who are they? Those people. The NRS community. The, those people. That's hey, what I'm talking about. It wouldn't be a great player without any hate. You got to have that hate. It's the few. So I'll mill it. But it's nevertheless, here it is. This is T-Hawk's dog. You know how big T-Hawk is? You do you understand who he so is? So you got Lily coming right too. Right. It's a native. Therefore... He already was big and strong as all out all outdoors. And here it is. He didn't talk all of his finesse to the daughter to finesse it a different way. And here it is. She winning. You know, we gotta have a little struggle on the way to the top. We gotta have a little struggle. But I know they're gonna balance it out. That's just yeah, that's just if because like okay, for instance, if people are hating on Kim, right? So if Kimberly was out the game and say guy was in the game, and say guy was in the game but was just as good as Kimberly nobody would be hating this nobody no I man I I'm totally almost, agree with you there, I'm I totally almost agree absolutely with you. sure it just so happened that she's black Leroy it just so happened that he's black but they he's a god of the game like he just they nerfed Leroy to Nippleheim you understand me <laughs> nerf him <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to to the second. We're not gonna, we gonna not jump. You know what? We can jump just for a second. They did what they did because of the counter. He was just that good. And of course, you know. But, he, but he's black. <laughs> hey, what happened? That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, y'all left DJ out. He was. We don't even know how. But DJ see, DJ's not in the game yet. We don't know. We don't know how good he is. Couldn't play with him in the base. I know. I'm, that's why I say, just wait, just wait. And he wasn't the first black man. You know, if I could take it all the way back, Street Fighter is Mike. You know. Yeah, but I see, DJ has never been. I don't think DJ and uh, Super Street Fighter was as good as Kimberly is looking right now. Now this will be different. No, new, we don't know what DJ gonna be like when we see him in in a week. Two weeks, whenever that come in. Yo, two weeks. Kimberly, from now? Kimberly is everything they say she is. I'm here's the thing, nerd. Before we go on to the next thing, mind you, nerd. So I don't disagree with the the thing that they say she is as far as her gameplay, right? Okay. Everybody who's griping about her, not that I agree with them, like I I, I, I complain with them. No, I actually understand what they say. Kimberly is what they say she is. And I'm saying, so what? Get good. Be her. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I love that energy. I mean, I'm, not, Kimberly... nerd, I'm not saying, I'm not disagreeing. I'm no good. Hey. I know because, you know, the FGC can't stand me sometimes. But listen, I'm going to say this. I'm going to pass the mic. I have seen, I'm talking about blue check Twitter as far as FGC is concerned. 
gr griping about Kimberly. I'm talking about going into the frame data, going in depth, showing clips, everything. I, I, I understand it, and I totally agree with what they say about her as a character. And I'm saying, so what to all of that? Beat her anyway. With the character ah. that you use it, whoever you use it, whoever you playing with, figure out a way to, to beat the matchup of Kimberly with the character that you playing with. I'm saying, so what? Don't nerf her mm -hmm. and don't buff your character. Lead the characters like they is. Buff, if, if, if there's like some bugs in the game, but like fix the bugs. I'm talking about like, don't buff it or nerf it to the point where you change the meta. If it's valid, I don't care if it's a bad matchup. Is this a, Daw a Dawson versus a Blanca type matchup? Blanca mm. can beat Dawson. Dawson can beat Blanca. Them irritating, ugly matchups that you can't stand. You can win those matchups. You just got to figure out a way to do it. Stop That's trying, what it is. Get good and beat them. I get it. I get That's it. That's what I'm saying. Pass them, Mike. Pass them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and pass it to you, nerd. Because <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll say this. The reason is because I've, I've watched all these videos of like the uh, the people coming back from the, the Capcom office and stuff. And mm. look at the stuff that JP can do. No one cried about JP. Now, at the same time, we're not playing with him yet. But JP looked like, bruh. He looked like God. It's going to be a problem. Bam. <laughs> problem That's man. why I'm just like, yo, y'all just playing with the little eight joints they gave y'all on the beta. We ain't touched the right. We got we 10 more people. Listen, y'all don't, don't nobody know how anybody really going to be and feel, uh, for like at least 60 days into the game. Right? And and mm -hmm. I don't I don't care if it's a pro player saying it or if it's a casual player saying it, if they complaining it or they trying to explain it. Listen to me. You don't know what's bad or what's good just because you had a few matches. Because people go into the lab and they discover things that then they go back to the lab and discover new things and they try it. And, and you're never going to see everything. People still playing Street Fighter Five right now discovering new stuff. Street Fighter Five is now gone. We got Street Fighter Six. Like you're yep. never gonna know everything all at once. Stop trying to just have fun. Let's not lose sight, everybody. Let's not lose sight of the fun. Take them L's because who cares? Forget your rank. Forget your win total. My win loss percentage gotta be like seventy percent. Or no one's gonna respect me. Like nobody cares. Yeah, Dude, don't, just don't play. Care just about play, that. man. Just play. Like I, I don't care about your percentage. I'm telling you, like I'm not that kind, of, that type of dude that meets you in rank. And I'm staring at your percentages and your win loss rate. And how many losses you got? How many wins you got? I don't care. I we about to we got to go. I'm about to fight. I'm about to get some some experience. Win or lose, I'm about to play against a matchup I'm not familiar with or a matchup I am familiar with. So let me try to do a better job this time than the last time. Like my mind is not toxic like that. Just have fun, bro. Let's have mm -hmm. fun. Like these games is dope. These graphics is dope, and we arguing and, and toxic and negative about the joke. Like, 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 look at Street Fighter Six. Can y'all just stand back and just look at this game and look at Tekken and look at Mimk? Y'all don't want to enjoy the beauty Ooh. of it. Y'all want to fight. You see right. that in there? I'm waiting. Go ahead, man. About it. I'm gonna pass the mic. All right, so. I'm a, uh, before before we get to the you know the MK the the Tekkens all that stuff, um, Lotus Asakura brought up something that I never thought about before until now. Um, he was he plays uh, fighters mostly, so he plays you know Dragon Ball fighters mostly, and he's extremely good at it. Um, and he was talking about hey you know I, I usually don't play Capcom games but you know I'm picking this up I'm seeing you know how I feel about it you know the open beta and all that and he started talking about the button setup and talking about how six button fighters just feel different to him as far as execution and you know he was like you know it's not that I can't press the buttons but when you have a six button fighter then you have to go to the shoulder pad the shoulder pads a little bit more which isn't impossible but you know i prefer to have my buttons like this and like that and i started wondering i started thinking even about my experience lately you know with street fighter 5 and then moving over to strive and being like you know what i like strive a lot better and i wonder if part of it well one is because faust is just a very weird unique character that i just like really felt that 
you know was comfortable that i was comfortable with but also i wonder if it some of it has to do with the buttons because of course strive or guilty gear isn't a six button game either so can i can i answer that with a story would be me and tj storm can i use us as a like an actual real life example to answer right, go that on, drop, drop that knowledge player okay so back to the Tekken tournament that we uh met in and and, and how everything went down uh, there's another thing that i forgot to mention about that story is that i remember this now clearly the guy that was running a tournament did not allow us to adjust our buttons like go into the menu screen and play a but like however you would play at home you would have set those buttons that way and you could play at your best and the guy at the tournament was being real anal so he forced us to play on default buttons and that's and I ended up winning the tournament because I've always been good on default buttons, but I can play better when I can go customize my button. And I knew that that's what what TJ Storm was struggling with when I was fighting him. He kind of said that we kind of was grumbling to ourselves in the crowd, all of us, not just me and him. Everybody was like, didn't like, wasn't feeling the fact that we couldn't go into the menu because he was like, y'all, that's cheating. It's like, no, it's not cheating. Everybody will be at their best that's, if they can that's go not in there and customize their button. But this was this was in the Stone Age, right? So yeah. that's another reason why I knew that I won that tournament, but I knew I didn't I wasn't fighting TJ Storm at his absolute best. And I knew that in my mind, the crowd didn't see it that way. The guy who put you know, who was running a tournament didn't see it that way. A win is a win. But as a respectful, honorable fighter in the FGC going back in the day for me and TJ Storm, I knew that. And I took that as like, okay, yeah, I won this, but let me take, let me just really see. And when he took me back home, I let him set his buttons. We got to customize and everything. And I got to fight TJ Storm at his absolute best. And he went on a 10 game win streak before I could get one off. And that's the honest truth. So it's like, that's how I answer that question to say, me and him have, have already been through that situation where if it's a situation where I have to just how I play because you are restricting my buttons or adding new buttons, whatever that looks like, that does kind of hinder a person's skill le skill level. But if you let a person play whatever that looks like for them, go into their menu and customize the buttons. If you got a, like, TJ Storm got one of the greatest custom controllers ever. Right? I've seen it, I played on it myself. I knew, I remember the day, back in the day when he built it, it's, it's old and funky, but that joint working. And it's, it's like, it's, it, it's for him. He's at his best when he's on that controller. And and I don't mind that in anybody that I'm fighting because then there is that eliminates all the excuses. But go ahead. That's my answer to the question. My answer to the all question right. to clear it up will be is about how fast can you press a button. And it takes me back to everything is six six button setup. I have never really adapted to eight buttons being flat across the control panel where my style of play is arcade i i grew up in the era where everything you had to go to the to the local game room so just the only way you're going to play this is to be against the best and the only way to stay on is to learn how to play with what they're playing with which is the six button setup here it is you go from six buttons always in the arcade to a control pad that was a big learning curve so in order to be at my best that's why I always stay with arcade style sticks, even then with Tekken. He, we playing Tekken 3, not to say it was on the home system, but the arcade was different. Nobody had the available funds to keep on just putting quarter after quarter after quarter after quarter. Hmm. That's the benefits of working at the game room. <laughs> Therefore, any game that was out was always arcade style setup, six buttons straight across. So I always noticed everybody used to take their controllers. So at one point in time we was trying to get into the market but then here come mad cats so they they made it easy and when you look at the layout and you look at the menu you can see it's still in the six button setup where if you was on a classic setup and you played the modern style it actually has a nice flow it really has a nice flow but to not be able to have the maximum potential i would i would not sacrifice being able to do the move that's the practice that's the 60 days that's the putting your hard work into learning your said character if you really want to be good at something you have to do it consistent therefore 
You play with one character for 60 days, you should be able to play against anyone and be able to try to finesse a win. They took away, not to say okay. the mechanics, they didn't take it away. They just adapted to control pad. What's easier? What's directly into your hand? How can I reach that consumer? You gotta make okay. it easy. All right. Okay. The okay. Thing is, it's an option. You don't have to play on modern controls if you don't want. It. It's there for you. It's and like I, I apologize. <laughs> my my main thing is is the shaming of people. Like if people are using modern controls, mm. shame each other. It's like like who cares? Like if it's not for you, it's not for you. If you used to classic and that's what you have, fine. Modern control is what TJ Storm just said. It's a marketing tool because there's also the anime fighters like Dragon Ball Z, which is like modern control. Dragon Ball yeah, Fighter Z is modern control. Right. DNF yeah, fighters, DNF Duel. DNF Duel. Exactly. Uh, 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 Power Rangers Battle for the Grid is modern control. Yep, you're right. Right. So those I miss Power Rangers so much, so man. That game is so fun. So if you hey. look at it from a shirt and tie perspective, shirt and tie in an executive room, they want those dollars too. They want those anime fighter players to buy Street Fighter Six. So let so how do we and the reason that they they surveyed and polled these players, why don't you play Street Fighter? Because I don't like Street Fighter's control. I like Dragon Ball Fighter Z's control because it's easier to do the combo. So from a marketing perspective, they put the modern controls there and get their best to try to implement it for the character that you're using. If it don't feel good, it don't feel good, but at least that group of players who play those it's anime fighters can can get into Street Fighter. And if they never cross over to classic and they stay on modern controls, that's perfectly fine. There's no shame in it because, hey, their mind mentally, like TJ just said about how he set his controller up that's how he's at his full potential so if a player is at their full potential using modern controls because they used to play dragon ball they used to play dnf they used to play those those modern control games let them right. have that and let's just be it out fast for whatever control team we are using. that's all i'm saying that's the beauty of it yep that's that's what's up i like i like that that's what's up that's 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 a beautiful thing, if you will. You know what I'm saying? Shouts to Capcom for doing that for us. Yeah, it's all love, man. We love everybody. We ain't hating. I ain't hating on nobody, fam. Ain't no, like, ain't no hateration. Ain't no holleration. If anything, I want those old school players that are just so dead set in their ways to try something new. Here it is, coming from somebody that was dead set in their ways. I try something new. Thank you, Beta. <laughs> Gotta, you know what I'm saying? Gotta, gotta, you know, take it to another level sometimes. We gotta evolve, man. We cannot stay the same. Like, I don't care. Like, like, listen, we, the games of the past are the past for a reason. Mm. We're gonna play these new joints. The new joint is gonna be, it's gonna have some newness to it. It's not gonna be like the old joint. So expect something new. Expect change. Look, look, Tekken 9, Street Fighter 7. Like, it's gonna be different. It's not gonna be like the one. So, so have fun with the one that they give us. Learn right. How to play it, get used to it, and when the next one come out, Street Fighter Seven, Tekken Nine, like Mortal Kombat One, for example, we ain't, ain't, ain't seen no gameplay yet. Just a prime example before I pass the mic. Mortal Kombat One is going to be a new system, a new way to play Mortal Kombat. Don't expect Mortal Kombat Eleven, Mortal Kombat Ten, Mortal Kombat Nine. Mortal Kombat. Don't expect those versions of Mortal Kombat. Expect Mortal Kombat One. To be different, take what it, like you can bring some old legacy skills with you to the new Mortal Kombat, but just reset your mind and say, "All right, I'm gonna learn how to play Mortal Kombat all over again." Because technically, that's what you're doing. It's a new version of the game. It's not the old version. So erase all that stuff. Forget all of that. Start over from scratch. White belt. Learn something new, and that's okay. Mm -hmm. No, that's okay. Now. Since you brought it up, let's keep on in stride with that Mortal Kombat. You know what I'm saying? Your 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 boy over there said, "Hey, we got uh, new timelines." Liu Kang said, "Look, man, all right, we finally beat what was it, Quantica, whatever, Chronica, whatever the girl name was. I whooped her up. All right, I'm done. I I done fixed everything. 
Uh, everybody's happy. Everyone's smiling. You know what I'm saying? We got we got two people that used to hate each other over here. They love each other. Two people over there used to hate each other. They love each other too. Every, the sun is shining. Oh, ho, ho. but there's one hater. One hater in the midst, boy. <laughs> One hater that won't let nobody just they won't let nobody shine. You know what I'm saying? Shang Tsung came through. He said, "No, nah, I don't want this. I don't want y'all happy. If y'all if y'all happy, then I ain't happy." But we get to see some incredible graphics. Like this next gen is looking beautiful, and I kind of like the energy from Liu Kang, a character that I never played back in the day because i just thought he was too generic and it, it, he just seemed i don't know it was it, it was weird in the way that i liked ken i disliked Liu kang but in this trailer i liked that energy when he was like he was like oh punks jump up to get beat down okay yeah. uh, uh. Yo, he was like, look, I'm God status now. I ain't just no regular human. I ain't no regular. Exactly where they took it to another platform. Mm -hmm. That's the best of I've ever seen of Mortal Kombat. I am so excited to play that because it is exactly what you said, Open Mind. Mortal Kombat 1. It is the start of something new. New mechanics, new ways to approach, new mm -hmm. ways to be new. And be the best that you can be at it. It's that version of it. Yeah. It, it give, let's take what they give us and let's just have fun. Man, you always want to have a little give and take here. You know, why did they change the alliances? You know, it's a new story. Learn. If, if I like. Okay, so here's how I look at it. Let's look at it from a story perspective. And we're speculating right now because we ain't got no new footage outside of the trailer. Hmm. Exactly. So we got. So from Mortal Kombat. Back in the 90s, up until this point, the, the, the god was Raiden. He was the Thunder God Raiden. Right? Mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat 11, if you know the story, everything happened with Chronica, the time loop, and then Fire God Luke Kane became a new god, and, and, and Raiden gave his godhood to Luke Kane, willingly. He didn't, like, Luke Kane didn't take it from him. Raiden willingly gave him, he was just a mortal man, and that's how, that's how the story of Mortal Kombat 11 ended. Seems like they're picking up where that left off and then it's like they're cutting off the story and starting a new story, carrying over Liu Kang being, still being Fire God, Liu Kang being the God and Raiden still being a mortal man. But maybe, and it's a speculation, this is just me speculating, maybe Liu Kang's version of Mortal Kombat is the same kind of thing, but with Liu Kang being the God instead of Raiden being the God. Because we're seeing the same characters coming. Back. Yeah. So maybe we'll get the Shao Kahn. If 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 Shang Tsung is going to be downloadable content for pre-order, I can definitely see Shao Kahn. I can see Goro. I can see if it's Mortal Kombat One. That is what's what that says to me as just a fan. It's just a bonus because I was like ten playing Mortal Kombat One because I was ten. I say they go back. They starting over. Especially got Shang Tsung in it. It's gonna inevitably be Goro. Because Goro was in Mortal Kombat 1. And uh, maybe, of course, Jax and Reptile and the rest of them. But from Luke Kang's perspective instead of from Raiden's perspective. All these years, for the last 25, 30 years, we've got Raiden's perspective of how Mortal Kombat should go. Mm -hmm. Now, going forward, starting over from 1 again, we're going to have Fire God Luke Kang in the next Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3. As the, as the future goes, as the big games continue and we get older, Fire God Liu Kang will be the god, and Raiden will maybe he'll have some electrical powers, but he just won't have his god there. And then that's just how I see the story going. Yeah, because the the you have kind of like MK9, then MKX, then MK11, then you have MK11 Aftermath. Now I haven't played any of those games, but I love the story. So what I do is I give a shout out to Gamers Playground right now because I wait till the game comes out and then I watch it as a movie on Gamers Playground. <laughs> so, right. like on on a uh, MK11 Aftermath, the, like the expansion or whatever, there was Shang Sun double crossed uh, Liu Kang and all of them again. Even though he seemed like he was like kind of not going to be bad this time, but he still he still double crossed him. And um, now 
I, I think we're living in a world where, like, you know, Luke Kang kind of had everything on lock. And now, I don't know how many years have passed, quote, years since we're playing back and forth with time, but I don't know how many years have passed, but it seemed like everyone was living their lives as though they didn't know <sighs> what happened before. So, that, you know, from a story perspective, like someone like me that watches this stuff as movies, like, as a story perspective, that's kind of cool to see if they might, you know, become aware of what Liu Kang did and maybe see whether how they feel about it. You know, are they, will they be happy about it or not? Hey, um, I, well, no, wow. here's another angle. Oh, go ahead, TJ. Go ahead. Hey, those two Kung Lao's that they showed, I was like, hmm. That's not Kung yeah. Lao. That, that's Kung Lao and Raven. Oh, word? Word? Yes, they, they just both wearing hats. Kung Lao has a hat. Raiden has a hat. That's not two Kung Lao. That's Kung Lao and Raiden. Oh, yes. Look at it again. See, I thought I thought that was I thought that was some kind of like time convergence stuff. No, and I know technically convergence. We're getting man, into Marvel mortal stuff. Mortal Man right Raiden and Kung and the Great Kung Lao. Ah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So yeah. here's another angle. What, what you were saying, there. Just a, just taking what you're saying, but just another angle. Let's say Fire God Liu Kang. It's not that everybody kind of remembering what happened or not realizing what happened. If they're playing with time, then it's just a different timeline period because they even mentioned this in 11. There's multiple versions of yourself that you live the same life, but unless y'all cross that time loop, y'all don't really know each other exists. I mean, Scorpion mm-hmm. fought, he, fought, fought himself, Luke Kane fought his remnant. Yeah. Fight his remnant. So it could just be an alternate timeline where Everything that happened in Fire Kyle Luke Kang's timeline, everybody died, and, every, and then and then Chronica did her thing. But the, but we're looking at a, just a different timeline where all of that didn't happen that way. So we still got Katana, still got uh, Melina, still got uh, Hanzo, Hasashi, and Behan, Sub Zero. These these names and these characters still exist in a different timeline. Let's mm-hmm. say that let's say that the beef is different. The reason that they're beefing is different, but they're still beefing because they're still following a timeline of ultimate versions of themselves. Let's say, let's say me and TJ Storm as brothers in this timeline, we're at arms, but in a different timeline, still brothers, we're, we love each other and we got each other's back and we never harm each other. In a different timeline, stab each other in the back. Like we're still brothers in each, in each timeline, but there's always a conflict somewhere that the conflict is different, but it's a conflict nonetheless. So I'm just saying maybe maybe Fire God Liu Kang's timeline that we're about to get is the same characters and let's say Scorpion and Sub-Zero hate each other for different reasons, but they hate each other nonetheless because it's still Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Their powers got to be shown differently. Hmm, okay, okay. That's something that that's something that I'm hype about. I ain't gonna front. I've watched the trailer like two or three. Way. I've watched the trailer two or three times, and I'm right. I'm excited I, I for it. it. Even as someone who does not play Mortal Kombat, like I'm but still I'm excited about it. When I'm when I'm saying pure speculation, just don't hold me to none of this, y'all. I'm speculating. <laughs> like as someone who, you know, hasn't played Mortal Kombat since what Mortal Kombat three. Uh, it's been a while, but. I'm I'm happy that the Mortal Kombat folks are getting something. We don't have a release date, but we're getting something. The way the trailer looks, I'm assuming no, we we're probably going to get a. We have a release date. A yes. word? Really? September 19th. Oh, I didn't know they gave a date. Not beta. Full release. September 19th this year. Oh. Full release. Snap. Oh, yeah. yo, FGC eating right now, yet. son. Yes. Yo, FGC. The look, beta I, is in August. I forgot they do bruh, have a date. I don't want to hear. Beta okay. Is in August All for right. For Mortal Kombat. You know what? I'm I'm a I'm a stop and pause real quick before I'm gonna <laughs> pause Mortal Kombat talk for a second. You know what? We talked about Mortal Kombat. We'll we'll come back to it. But I want I want to give a PSA, or not even a PSA. I'm gonna just go yes. in and talk talk to the FGC for for a second. FGC, I don't want to hear y'all complaining no more. All right, at least y'all can't complain for like another, I don't know, maybe three years. All right, three to five years. Y'all are getting Street Fighter Six, Tekken right. Eight, Mortal Kombat within uh, maybe like a year of each other. Come on, man. Look, did, y'all gotta st- 
stop it. I wouldn't hey, put it past stop it. Rod we got we got uh we got Project L maybe in about two years. We got uh we got Corrupt coming, which is super super dope. We got even if you like different styles of fighters like beat 'em ups, you got uh Double Dragon coming back. Street Fighter, I mean Streets of Rage is still rolling. They are still doing updates for the uh Turtle Shredder's Revenge. Bruh, there is enough punches and kicks to go around on these screens. I don't want to hear no crying. All right? That this double is Street Fighter. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm seeking that Double Dragon. It was it's a different style, a different yeah. take. Kind of like the little TB drawings, but I, I'm I'm hyped for it. Street Definitely. Fighter Six is gonna let you play a lot of the old beat 'em up any any given day. I, now this is what something that I said that actually came true. You can go into the battle hub, and there's an area in the battle hub where it's just where you they're gonna rotate if each week. The games are gonna rotate out, but it's always gonna be like five or six arcades sitting right there. You know what? Yeah, game. I played I played uh, Super Street Fighter Two last night. You play, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So think about it. So so imagine you, because I know you're going to do this, nerd. So just go live on your channel playing some of them old retro joints. Yeah, you ain't gotta, I will. You feel what I'm saying? Like Street Fighter 6 got so much to do that you ain't even got to really climb no rank. Like it's some other, there's so much other stuff you can do. You ain't got to be. And you can like go around the world on some GTA stuff. Like, bro, there, there's, there's a whole lot. Would it be game changing about that if they put on versus games? Just for a few days. What do you mean versus game? Like X Men versus Street Fighter. Oh, X <laughs> yeah, Marvel versus oh, Capcom. You said they won't do it though. <laughs> it's a Capcom game. No, but the battle yeah. hub over in that area, they're gonna they're gonna rotate games out. So each week it's gonna be a different set of games. And it's yeah, because there's be a section. Game. It's like I can't remember what's it called, gaming center or something. There's like it's a, a section center, yeah. in part of the battle hub. Like when you yeah, go over there, it's over like in that corner over there. Yeah. yeah, it's like gaming town or something like that. Whatever they call it. But it's always like, like five there. or six arcade cabinets right there. You sit on on one and you toggle yep. through the game you want to play and you play it. And and then of course each week they said this already. I said this before they said it, but now they've confirmed it. That yeah, each week they're going to rotate those games out. It's going to be any 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 given Capcom title. So what TJ Storm just said, it could very well be X Men versus Street Fighter because that's a Capcom title, right? You no. may you may get you may get it might it, it'll run for a week, but you got a week to just sit out on that cabinet and run some sets on X Men versus Street Fighter if it runs. Don't and I'm saying they haven't said all the games. And then I ain't got to bust out my Sega Saturn. They say any given Ooh. Capcom title retro. Of course, it's going to be a retro title, but right. I think anything up to Street Fighter three Street Fighter four. <laughs> Street Fighter 4 and mm. up is, is probably, you won't see that, but anything Street Fighter 3 Strike and back. I'm talking about Real Hero, not Real Hero. Um, the, what's the game where the, with the, where the little lion is the main character? They got the, we got uh, the lion Red Earth. sword and shield. Red Earth. That's, that's, that's just an example of the games you're going to be seeing, them old retro 90s. Yo, since we talk about Capcom, Capcom look, Capcom, y'all right. want y'all y'all want me to stream, oh, go on and put on, what was the, what was the best, well, in my opinion, the best one. I think was it Mega Man two or three? I can't remember which one I get, but yep, man, Mega look, Man definitely gonna be up in that joint. You gonna some Mega Man in that Go on, go on, go on, throw that Mega Man. I think it was Mega Man three, but go on and put oh, Mega yeah. Man two or three up on that joint, bruh. Don't be surprised if you see Mega Man I'm in that hub over there. Waiting for, and because it's in that battle hub, and they make it versus online, Capcom versus SNK two. Yeah, I don't know if we'll see that one, but I hope we do because man. that's the. Yo, I, would, I, I would love to see a three. <laughs> I don't you know, know three what? was never ported over here, though. I think there's a possibility to get a CVS three. I think that's not, not CVS. Was it CVS or was it SK versus Capcom? I'm not C CVS. CVS three. I think Cap SK versus Capcom didn't. It didn't have no push. Like yeah. SNK versus Capcom. But if they did and just took out and did like a rival schools on there, yeah, that'll be dope. Yeah. SNK versus Capcom played a lot like King of Fighters. It didn't play like a, a, a Street Fighter game. It had Whereas that Cap of you could have both. And that'll be a good in the in the midst of only saying because here it is, you got King of Fighters updates, you got um they bring it back SNK games where here it is, you got SNK 13. 
I'm saying, supposed to get, it's supposed to be getting rollback. King of Fighters 13. Mm, My yeah. apologies. King of Fighters 13. Here it is. They're coming back with rollback neck. So it's a big possibility for all of these games to have that rollback. And it's already there with all of the classics. You know, there's no community pushing play the Capcom 30th anniversary or play Capcom this anniversary edition because they had all those games online. Just to see it's how. Like you said. It's like you said, Nerd. So. They ain't got nothing to complain about, bro. Y'all yeah, got all we, these we, bring it all to one place. <laughs> we looking good. So, uh, with that said, I'll go back to Mortal Kombat real quick. Uh, can I get some final thoughts from the brothers on Mortal Kombat One? Because I'm I'm excited just to see Mortal Kombat One footage. Because I'm probably not going to play it, but I will watch the movie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> go go ahead, Tisha. Where? The movie, the next movie is going to be definitely, I have to watch it because here it is. The movie was totally new. It was Mortal Kombat 1 all over again. And here it is. Now you have a game. Yeah. So that, man, I'm, I'm excited. I, I want to see some, <laughs> I want to see some cool moves, some crazy fatalities. I, and of course, in the story mode, which basically is the movie, you know, in the story mode, I want to see how they kick off from, you know, the the crumbling of Chronica. That's where I'm at with it. To now. That's where I'm at with it, honestly. That's kind of I'm I'm really not where I'm at with it is is I love the trailer. Like okay, I, I like the fact that Mortal Kombat is coming, but I'm I'm not gonna get too crazy excited until I see some gameplay. But because I've been ride with MK since I was just a little boy. I'm talking about like junior high school, man. Like really. I'm ex- I want to see how the story plays out. Right. Like, as far as the as far as the gameplay, I gotta I gotta play it anyway. I gotta touch the game to see that. So I can't I'm not gonna decide on who I'm gonna play with. Yeah, Shang Tsung was my dude in Mortal Kombat Eleven. But I ain't never played with Shang Tsung until Mortal Kombat Eleven. Mm. Every Mortal Kombat my, my character changes because of the way the game it's like TJ Storm said last show. Characters make matchups. Definitely. Um, and 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 it's it, I don't think I do that because he said that. I think that's just a true fact because that what I end up happening like take KOF fifteen for example. I've never played with Rugal. Rugal is part of my three man team. I don't even like the fact that Rugal is part of my three man team. But I've been <laughs> winning with Rugal. And I'm, I play with the character, and I don't like the fact that I play with the character. I don't want to play with the character, but that's who, the, that's, the, that's who the game is rewarding me with what I'm doing with RuPaul. Not saying I'm the best, it's just saying I'm doing good enough that, that okay, you don't like it, but evolve. Okay, so whatever Mortal Kombat ends up being, I'll have to just touch it, press those buttons, and evolve to that. So I ain't going to make a decision yet, but I need to see more. I need to yep. see some gameplay. Okay. I need I need some more information. All we have is this trailer, and everybody they got the so called air quote leaks. But I'm not even tripping. Like Air Homelander and Omni Man, I'm like man. When the, when a game come out, I see who the DLC gonna be. I'm not listening to y'all <laughs> just telling me what your leaks is. I don't I don't, I don't believe none of that. Like, no, I don't, I don't Ed, trust Ed you. Boone, Ed Boone ain't confirmed none of this stuff. These just people just like you know. It, the Ed Boone's got- upset because of the leaks. Ed Boone ain't said nothing, bro. He just gave yeah. us a trailer. Y'all don't <laughs> know nothing. All we got is Luke. This is what we know. Well, I'm going to pass the mic. This is what we know. For sure. Fact. Luke Kang. True. Mm-hmm. Mortal, Mortal Man rated. Mm-hmm. Great Kung Lao. Mm-hmm. Shang Tsung. True that. Katina. Katana. Melina. Yep. And Fire God Luke King. Yeah, we got That's oh we got sub zero and, and we got sub zero and scorpion in there. Sub zero and scorpion, so my bad to show this. So you know what? Since this we is a different this. timeline, I wonder if we'll see if some of the other characters will look slightly different. Maybe like their clothing or maybe like you know, Same maybe their, but a their stature. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying I said that to say that's what we know for a fact that's gonna be in the game for a fact. Now, going forward, I don't really care who's going to end up being in the game. Already, the OGs is there. They gave us the OGs off top in the trailer. 
the Mortal mm-hmm. Kombat one people outside of Sonya and uh, and Johnny and Johnny Cage. If you look at if you look at the trailer for what it is, if you don't don't Thank don't look you. at no story, cut the sound off and just look at the trailer quietly like sound, no sound. And go back to 1991 or 19 whatever year it was when Mortal Kombat first came out. The OGs are here. We got Shang Tsung, Liu Kang, mm-hmm. Sub Zero and Scorpion. I'm gonna get my hand early. Katana and Melina. I'm gonna get Those my are the OGs. I ain't seen no Kano. Kano, uh, but it Kano, Kano might be in the cut. Up. Don't mean he won't show up. Remember, it's the alternate timeline. Maybe the Kano we're gonna get won't be have lost his eye. Still Kano, different timeline, but didn't lose his eye. But still a scuff bag, still a dirt bag. I don't know, still eyes. a dirt bag. <laughs> he gotta be feel me like like expect expect Fire God Luke King to tell the mortal the Earth Realm story differently with the same character with a different twist on. It. Just expect that, because we're looking at a Raiden who's not a god. He's just a man with that hat, but he knows he still, his name is Raiden. Then we got the great Kung Lao, which is not the same Kung Lao that went to the the, the uh, Shaolin Monk school with Liu Kang. Not, that's not the Kung Lao we get. We're getting the great Kung Lao back in the day, who started all of this. Started that's this gangster. Ver- yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I can see the same characters from a different perspective of Luke Kang. I'm no story going to be. And I'm excited to see that part about it. But as far as like who I'm going to play with it, like, I don't know. I might not even like Shane Tsung in this version. So I'm going to just wait till the game come out and see who I like. All right. That's word. That's word. <laughs> now, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna throw it over to uh, Mr. Storm for a second. Uh, my brother, um, you've been playing some of that King of Fighters 15. Mm-hmm. All right. So... I want to. I, I figure we could. Well, you know, hold up. I, I think we have one more topic after this. But King, uh, King of Fighters 15. You know, you you've been going through. You've been making your changes. Are you still rocking with the team that you was rocking with the last time we talked? Or we are you making changes on your team? Because you make, know you got you got a you got I, a pretty pretty fresh roster. Hey, I just wanted to go back to the day and hone in. And it's kind of like what I was just saying earlier. You got to give it 60 days. So, you know what? I just wanted to hone in on three characters for 60 days and just run through the goddamn game. And that's what I'm going to go. Family show. Family show. Family show. Family show. Family show. <laughs> Family show. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Pra- praise the Lord. Family show. Go ahead, CJ. But continue. <laughs> I'm going with it's- Jim. They gonna throw the little green Bible that you see there. They gonna do it in the comments. At a tear. Say it again. Go ahead. I'm going with Joe. All right. I'm going with Ralph. Okay. And with Terry. But just gotta throw it out there. You know, Clark just been in the mix. Just in the mix. Gotta keep him in the mix. You know, why TJ Storm? Uh, three, three, he thirty me with Clark, bro. Why he, why he do me like that? Though, like, we was just playing oh. the other day. This was just, this wasn't today. This was like, oh, we could go or something. We just, he was like, yo, you online? Like, yeah, I'm online. He's like, right, let's get on. And I was expecting Joe, uh, Terry, and 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 Ralph. I was expecting that, but that ain't who I got. You know who I ended up? Who I getting? He had Clark, Ralph, and. Matter of fact, he had Leona. Mm. Yo, he had Leona nerd. Let me tell you, I wasn't ready for none of them. I, I, Ralph is a given because he gonna play. He been playing with Ralph for twenty years, but I wasn't ready for Clark and I wasn't ready for Leona because I was like, what is he doing? Like he just playing right. All right, so I'm. This is what I'm doing, nerd. This is what I'm thinking. I'm like, all right, so maybe he just practiced with these characters. He ran through me with Leona. He kept hitting me with them little bombs. I'm like, yo. When this dude stopped playing with Leona, like, I, like I was just like I lost that round. Oh, so he did. He was Leona. holding out on you. I finally get rid of his <laughs> Leona, but he got my second character down to like half my life. Where I'm like, I lost too much damage on the second character. I'm almost on my third character. But now I got to deal with his route. I mean, his uh, Clark. Duh. He soloed me with Clark. I kept, mm. I kept getting past his Leona, but every time I get on his Clark, he just kept beating me, and we go into the, we go into the. The windscreen with Clark holding his glasses, and it's just like he, it's three and zero, oh, and I'm just like, yo, 
what is he doing? Like, where's is, where's is Terry at? Like, where's like where's is, where's is, uh Rock Howard? Like, this is my thinking. I ain't saying this to him. I'm thinking it. Like, why is he they doing this to me? Like, so I'm saying this to say, y'all, like, his clerk is 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 nasty. <laughs> mm, I got off. Like, if I don't warm up with him and then play the game, you know, I'm not as effective as just choosing him. You know, it's just a little, we a little hit or miss because, again, I want to hone in. Lady, right. Joe, Terry, and Ralph. Depends on the order. Sometimes I feel a little different. Put Ralph first. Just to go ahead and just, sometimes I want to dominate. That's what that, if you ever see me play with Ralph first, that means I want to dominate. Well, I've been, I've been switching up though, man. I've been switching up too. I like that switch up though. I like Okay, that. okay. So, so what you got, Open Mind? What you got? <laughs> All right, so check it. So, I, 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 I kind of solved my, my RuPaul problem, right? So now I got this, this squad with Dinosaur. Andy and Maxima with Maxima at three always going forward. Ooh. Going forward from now Ooh. on, no matter who my characters are, Maxima gonna be number three forever. Because I figured out finally how I used to play with Maxima back in back in King of Fighters 13 days. How I was able to survive online because of the way I was using them. I was like, I've been struggling for us because you know it's been like the last two weeks we just jumped back on King of Fighters, right? Myself and and TJ Storm. But before King of Fighters 15, I played 14, but Maximum wasn't on 14. Maximum was on 13, and because the online was so bad with 13, I could only play against TJ Storm in a in a face to face type situation where we just jump on the game and play, and it was smooth. But now I've finally gotten my Maxima back to who I used to be when I was a younger man. So he is ah. absolutely at three, even if I switch out my two. So right. Rugal is not a mainstay anymore. Now it's Dinosaur and Andy, or it's Dinosaur and Rugal, or it's Rugal and Andy, or whatever, right? But Maxima, the, 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 so the Maxima, switches, Maxima's the holding down. Maxima is all is my anchor, my dude, my savior. Like I survive. Like I'm so low in people. I'm talking about champion ranked players. I got the clips. I just champion ranked players, thirty ranked players. Like you know, or players that are like 25, 26, but they got like two thousand wins. You know, what I'm saying them dudes is just as good as those champions. As in my opinion, if a person got like. 1200 wins 1500 wins 2000 wins but they rank like 22 23 to me that's still a guy ranked player because you still a scrappy person you got a, yeah, lot, that's of a lot of that's a lot of dubs you know that's a lot of dubs for this game like this game been out for a year and people the the, the highest i've seen is 5000 that's it everybody else is still like 1100 wins 1200 900 wins 500 wins like ain't no it's hard to get wins on this oh game. also i i want to stop you real quick <laughs> i want to i want to give you some love and also uh, point out look at how you acknowledged how many wins someone had in a positive way yeah, look at how like you said, hey man I'm they have a lot of wins so they must have yeah. did it right you can't they, help they, but see them they right there in your face yeah it, it wouldn't that be nice if <laughs> i mean but see but see nerd i see what you said but see nerd i'm gonna say this to him though this is offense i'm gonna make him mad too DNF duel is about to die, right? Mm. We're gonna lay DNF. We're gonna we're gonna pray for DNF duel. So, and I say this, nerd, going on going going forward because I'm about to jump on Street Fighter Six. I'm about to jump on Mortal Kombat in September. I'm, I'm gonna jump on Tekken when it drops. I'm, I'm I'm moving forward, right? As far as DNF duel is concerned, I'm number one hitman with 6,200 wins. Mm. I'm number three deity, mm. and if and if. I can retire saying that I was one of the top three players on that game, on the PlayStation version, not the PC. And I'm cool with that, nerd. So I'm you know cool what? with that. You know what? Going to get that, going to get that screenshot and just put it up, put it, you know, put your jersey you in the rafters. Me? Yeah, like I can retire my listen, even if somebody take the number three daily from me, I'm still gonna be number one hitman because I got six thousand win and the number two hitman only got like eighteen hundred win. 
so and the game is dying you really can't find no fights right now because people playing other stuff like that that online lobby is just dead so it's the you, you, the numbers is kind of stuck where they are so even in the next six seven months of not playing dnf duel i'm still gonna be number one hitman still having not turned the game on and i'm cool with that because i'm gonna be on street fighter 6 i'm gonna be on these other joints i'm not even gonna be playing them but going you forward think, you think you I'm think cool uh with. specter might bring bring some people back <laughs> <laughs> good luck oh boy good luck man i'm gonna be trying to learn how to play street fighter 6 because i know tj's gonna be on that joint and i gotta keep up with him like he's right you i'm kid in the sense of where the way we approach the game personality wise like controller wise pressing buttons wise I, my mindset is in his mindset is right we're always training we're always trying to better ourselves and we use each other as like punching bags to get better it's not a win or loss it's not a better who's the best it i am a player that can test him and he's a player that can test me and then we depart ways and we'll go live our lives and he'll go get on some rank matches and I'll get on some rank matches and we'll take that sparring that hardcore time chamber you know super saiyan sparring that we do mm -hmm. and we'll take all of that and go give it to the world <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's how we do go ahead <laughs> oh man that's hilarious <laughs> like go uh, train up you know what I'm saying and then go you know uh, give a couple of punches and kicks to everybody else. Why evolve as he play? Because he can. What I love about him is he goes out there, he give it his best, you know. And not to say he always giving it his best. A lot of times he didn't master it to the effects where he want to come back and just test it out on me. And then I'm gonna sit there and he knows I'm gonna figure out a way to beat it. And I always do. And when I do, it's like, oh, now you gotta find another way. It's like. We have to have that give and take just to go back out there and test it out on the rest of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and see, the thing the thing I love about him is it's like it's it, it's it's law. It's almost it's so close to real life fighting. I can't I can't even describe it like it's reuse philosophy. You get to know a person by fighting. Right. Like the actual the, the core of a person, the way they how they act under pressure, how they act when they're winning how they act period like you get to know a person when you fight them and with him we're always teaching each other like he said give and take i'm teaching him he's teaching me and it's not a teaching of thing it's more like habit breaking he's trying to tell me in the fight no verbal talk just with his punches and his kicks and his responses to the things that i'm doing he's trying to tell me something hey bro stop doing that because if you keep doing that i can do this to you He's not verbally saying it. He's saying it with his action and vice versa. Like he'll be doing something to me and he'll be doing it repetitively and I'll do something and then I'll wait for him to do that thing again and I'll do something and then he'll stop. All we're communicating with each other with the character. We're taking our characters, our avatars, and we are come, we are actually having a whole conversation. Friendly, positive, it's not toxic at all. But that's just how we him and me and him been forever. And we take that mentality and, and go fight people that don't know us from an edible can of paint. And it just works. Like, he already ranking up, I'm already ranking up. It's been two weeks, I'm already 24, bro. You see what I'm saying? And it's just a couple hours on the game. I still work, he still works. We still got stuff to do, we still got responsibilities. But it's the way we approach the game. It's like, we don't. it don't take me long, it don't take him long to figure this stuff out. Just gotta sit down and give it a little bit of time. And, and you need to practice, you need to, and it's anybody, this is FGC period. If you got a buddy, a friend, or somebody you can just, that know, that's on your level or better than you, y'all need to go at it and kill your ego. Like, kill that, like, stop. Just, just leave the ego at the door. This is not about wins and losses. This match that y'all having, or these sets of matches that don't need to be clipped, it's just between you and them. If you need to learn how to really play a game, it's go, go, go at it with somebody that know how to play because all y'all doing is just teaching each other back and forth. You're learning some mechanics. I'm still learning things about KOF 15 fighting TJ Storm. Because nice. KOF 15 is not 14. It's 15. And it's Definitely. just things... You see, go ahead, go ahead, TJ. Go ahead. It is not 14. It is 15. 
it is a new I love that you were segue into that. And that's how I feel about Mortal Kombat. It's a new game. That's how I actually feel about Street Fighter. It's a new game. That's how I feel about Tekken 8. It's a new game. They don't want you to hold back. They want you to dive in. They want you to be aggressive. Get that dub. So it's a new game. It's a new world. It's a new way to just learn to go back and forth with one another and relieve that stress. So, yeah. so I'll uh, on this. I'll I'll throw out one last one last thing, and get you guys thoughts before we go in and bounce. Um, I was watching uh, what is it? Uh, Nightmare stream, and he was talking about um, you know, hey, when the game comes out, because you can't really go into training mode in the beta. Um, you can't really train like you want to. He was like, when the game comes out, you know, be able to lab and you know, get into training mode and things like that, and um. I brought up basically, you know, that what he was doing right now, being in the rank mode, was training. I was like, you you already doing it. And I was like, you know, sometimes, and of course, I know the pros ain't trying to hear this. But sometimes I think that maybe we put a little too much emphasis on the training room or the practice room or whatever it is. Not enough when, when, fighting. Yeah, when we should just kind of get out there and kind of figure it out. But I know I know everyone learns differently, but I just think there's such an emphasis on labbing. And I'm like, well, you labbing right now. Like you, you know, you're in rank mode, whether you're rank mode, casual, every fight, you're you're learning something new. You're getting better at doing it. Like it's not just, but I mean, I, I wanted to see you guys' thoughts on that before we got out. I, I love that experience. It, it brought me back to the arcades. You didn't know how the game was. You didn't have a, the opportunity to practice. It just gave you the opportunity to jump in and play. And that's exactly what they gave you, that option. You have any option in the world. They gave it to you just flat out. You can just jump in and do it this way. You can jump in and do it that way and watch how funny it'd be. I love the opportunity to try something new, especially with something old. How many times can they rebuild it? It's amazing. Okay, okay. All could right. You, could you ask, could you ask the question again, nerd? I want to make sure I understand. All right. So, do you think that we put too much emphasis on training room and you know the tutorials and the practice mode instead of kind of like? diving in and just taking matches and figuring your character out not saying that you should never go into practice mode not saying that you should never uh go into tutorials but i i don't know i just as i as i look at a lot of streamers there seems to be a huge emphasis on like frame data and, and labbing and tutorials over and over when i'm like you can be learning at game speed instead of kind of just like hitting the dummy right um, now even even when you program your dummy to do something it's not it's not, a it's real not always gonna it's not always gonna play out that way in a live match so i right. wonder you know your thoughts on do you think we as the fgc kind of put too much emphasis on training mode and you know training room or practice mode or whatever all right, so I want to I want to approach this a, a number of ways. Okay, first way is I see all perspectives, but I gotta be fair to the casual gamer because myself, I would consider myself a, a veteran. The word I would use to describe me and TJ Storm is we're veteran players. Veteran mm -hmm. meaning we've been playing these games for these many years and have entered and won tournaments and lost but entered and participated so we have experienced all of like the life that everybody has lived i'm just we just old men right now but at the end of the day these i i can i have to i want to <laughs> kind of like i want to kind of give voice to the casual gamer okay. this is so this is information overload all of this right 
it's information overload. You want to follow your best gamer. You want to follow your best person that you like with Funk, with Nightmare, with whoever, Daigo, Takedo, whoever you, whoever your person is, LTG, whoever your person is for you and FGC that you like to follow. And then you go to your timeline, you're looking at all these turbo nerd conversations and, and forward F, down F, down forward, all these different yeah, frames, 2S frames, and, you know, S, and, S, S, 2S, down S, 4S, the forward S, forward, forward. You know, that's <laughs> how they speak, right? This, this language, this geek turbo nerd language. Okay, so if you come across this video, you hear my words, listen to me carefully. Just press button, right? Okay, <laughs> you don't you don't have to know frame data in order to be good. Let me see for example. I, I'm 40 years old. I'm retiring from the NF Duel going forward as the number one hitman, having known no frame data across the board for none of these characters. And I'm also the number three deity until further notice, till somebody go on there and take it or whatever. Right now, today, I'm the number three deity on PSN, and I'm the number one hitman user I got six thousand plus wins and the other hitmans below me ain't got no more than two thousand they only have eighteen hundred thing so i'm gonna be number one hitman so i accomplished this without knowing an inch of frame data i pressed the button i took the l i fought a lot of fights i fought the roster enough times to know the matchup when to hit when not to hit when to dodge roll when to hit confirm with how to carry my combos out and so on and so forth i did all that without knowing down s forward f just the, 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 the language of it. i did it by pressing the button and feeling the fight you can do this with any fighting game <clears throat> you don't have to go to the menu and try to memorize everything up down left right back back forward forward this goes for attacking this goes for anything as you <laughs> press those buttons repetitively 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 take fights repetitively you're a human being you got to understand how your mind works right forget about how everybody else does things do what you need to do for you how are you going to learn this character the best way i would suggest you do is to take fights against players that are not that are on your level don't go trying to beat up fight the god because they just don't steamroll you you don't know what's happening everything is a gradual process if you're a rookie rank when you go into online rank try to fight other rookies y'all go at it and as you rank up you're going to fight people in your same rank and stay on that gradual scale if you end up down ranking well then take that l take that lesson all right i just they just down rank me back to the rank that i just ranked from what i do wrong fight those ranks in that rank that you're in keep battling keep fighting keep taking them l's and keep learning the mistakes you're obviously making mistakes you're obviously doing something wrong because you can't get out of this tier when you finally get out of that tier, you're going to start building up habits because you start to see how these players are fighting you. This is how you learn and get good. It's repetition. The word repetition. You're going to have to play this game. You're going to have to win. You're going to have to lose. You're going to have to take fights. The, the practice mode is just there for you to kind of like familiarize yourself with input. The purpose of practice mode is for you to practice your input. But, but that's it. It's not teaching you how to fight. You just getting the inputs down into your muscle memory. That's all it's doing for you. But if you come at me having just left practice mode and you ain't fought no fights, I'm about to destroy you. I'm about to pick you apart. I'm about to, it's like real life boxing. I'm gonna dance around this ring. I'm gonna hit you with these two jabs. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna dance. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna dance and duck and dodge. And I'm gonna pop you with these dads. That's how I'm gonna fight you as I see that you coming at me with this combo you just tried to practice and you can't seem to land it on. See what I'm saying? That's how that's that's how you approach the fighting game. So that's my answer, long answer to that tutorial okay. mode thing. It's like, okay. for, forget about the frame data overload of information of, you know, all these words. Just press those buttons, man. Go to the menu, set your buttons press them see how they feel go back to the menu rearrange those buttons until you get to a buddy button setting that's comfortable for you and don't be afraid because street fighter 6 has this option we don't know about the other games go make some custom menu button options for yourself you can make like seven of them joints on street fighter 6 
And as the character that you use, you can set the button settings for that character. Because for me, I'm going to tell you all the story that I can say now because it's past fans. For Street Fighter 4, I have a button setting specifically to use Zangief. When I'm not playing with Zangief, I change my buttons when I'm picking my characters. I open up the menu screen and I change my buttons back to a certain setting to play with the other characters that I use. So if I decide I want to play with Zangief on Street Fighter 4, mm. while we're at the character select screen, I open up the little pop-up menu and I, sl- and I set my button a certain way specifically so that I can play with Zangief comfortably on Street Fighter 4. Yeah. I'm not playing with Zangief, I go back to that screen because I got 30 seconds, so I'll do it in less than 30 seconds. I'll, go, I'll pick a certain button setting that lets me play with the rest of the roster on Street Fighter 4. You have that same option on Street Fighter 6, so certain button settings are going to be for certain characters. And then if you're playing with a certain character, open up that menu before the timer runs out, pick your button settings, and play with that character from those button settings, and everything is there for you. Like, we don't have to complain, really. you got really everything there right there for you on Street Fighter 6. You just got to figure out what's best for you. Right. <clears throat> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. See, man, look. All right. That's, that's, we're going to, look, use what's best for you. With that said, I'm going to throw it over to TJ Storm. Tell people where they can find you so they can, you know, come and, you know, test their metal and uh, okay. take a match or two. Again, find me on PlayStation Network, TJ Storm. No numbers. Easy to find. Send me a matchup. I'll, we can play for hours. I'll figure yeah. it out. And then you'll be a mad. My apologies. Oh, boy. All right. Open Mind, where can they find you? Open Mind, spell it with a wild Twitter. Open Mind. Uh, open underscore mind. 82. Uh, at, at YouTube and you know what I'm saying how let your boy for this game and stuff bro we got some we can celebrate man the FGC sitting real good bro like yeah, we, we got the, Tekken 8 we, Street Fighter 6 <laughs> and Mortal Kombat bro like it's DNF duel of what Dragon Ball Fighters what what is that I'm playing I'm on I'm on to the next right now <laughs> and I'm playing KOF 15 strong like yo I'm I'm really loving KOF 15 right now I've been on it tough like since I can't really get no fights on DNF Duel, not just to say that I don't want to play it, I have been trying to log in. I go into the server and I sit for like 30 minutes and it's like, all right, let me turn this off because ain't nobody on this joint. Like, well, it's dead. So I jump on King of Fighters and I'm on that joint getting fights back to back to back. So it's like, I'm going to play the game that's responding to me. And KOF is giving me fights. Uh, I go on rank. I sit there for two seconds. I get a fight and I finish the fight and I get to another one. And then I done went through 10 fights in 30 minutes playing KOF. DNF is dying out, so time to go play something else. Sorry, y'all, but it's been a good run. I had fun. All right, all right. Well, N-E-R-D, S-O-U-L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, podcast, all that jazz. Until the next DP, until the next Sonic Boom, until the next Fatality, this is from us to you saying peace. Peace.